Hey guys, it's your boy Swally Ghost coming back with some more content on some bug fixes and some fixes in general whenever it comes to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today we're going to talk about a situation called your NAT type. If your NAT type is either strict or moderate, you might be running into a couple of issues. One, your latency has skyrocketed to about 150 to 200 and you're not quite hitting your shots. Another issue that you could possibly be having is that you're not able to get into a lobby that seems like it'd be close to you. You might even have fiber net internet and you might be having an issue. And it all comes down to being able to do something called port forwarding. And now I know you've probably seen your run of the mill videos on how to port forward. And there are people that are still having issues on how to do this. And it's mainly because you're probably not setting it up right. Or there might be a security measure inside of your router that is causing this to go wrong. But we have a software that can actually fix that. Just like Process Lasso can actually make the game run smoother, we can get a process, we can, uh, not a process, but we can actually get a software that can actually get your port forwarding set up in your router automatically and back in the game. Stick with me guys, stick with me. All right, so here we are at the main desktop, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take you to a web page. This website is actually ingenious. I never would have actually came across it, but it's actually called Port Forward Network Utilities, right? The actual company that you're going to be looking up, though, is called Network Utilities. What you're going to do is you're going to go to your web browser. I like to use Google Chrome because I find that more uh, reliable. And what you're going to do is you're going to type in Network Utilities for Windows. And all you're going to do... <clears throat> is you're gonna click on the link right here. And I'm actually, since it took me a second, to actually find the website from the Google search page. All you're gonna do is go down to the description below and click on the link and actually install this onto your computer. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom, not very bottom. Oh, the fuck? Download, very top, my bad. Very top, you're gonna to hit download and what you're going to do is you're going to follow the instructions. So it's actually going to pop up into your computer automatically once you hit the download page. And all you're going to do is you're going to click on the, uh, the actual pop-up that happened and follow the instructions to run it and install it, correct? Once you do this, you're going to go to your main page and it should be on your desktop, okay? All you're going to do is open up the app. The app is going to look something like this, right? What you can do in this software is, and let me scoot this over so it's completely out of my camera view, sorry guys, um, is you can actually set up a static IP address. Um, you can do a, a port config. So if you actually go in and click on port config, it's gonna take a second, but it'll pop up another window. Once this window pops open, you can select a large majority of games, for instance, if you're not having issues with Call of Duty, but you're having issues with Bladestorm, right? You can actually fix this. And this goes across the board for both uh, console PC as well. So like if you're playing Call of Duty, like us, what you're gonna do is find Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And you got an option between PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Simply just click on the one that you want which would be PC. And then you're going to forward this app, right? Once you forward it, it's going to pop up down here and it's going to have a list of all of the uh, ports that you're going to need to actually turn your NAT into open. And then you're going to update your router. Okay. The cool thing about this is, is that whenever you go through and you want to pick your router, right? You're going to select your router. And all you do is you go down, you pick out the manufacturer of your router and the model, right? Once you do this, all you're gonna do is update your router and all of your ports should be forwarded through your router. It does it automatically. It does it automatically. There's nothing else you have to do. And then you should be set to go. Plain and simple. And one way that you can actually check is you go to something called Port Checker. And I know that sometimes whenever you're going into a website, um, you can do a port check, right? But this also comes with a port check. And all you have to do is type in the port 
3074 is a very common port for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Call of Duty in general. It always uses 3074. So it's a good one to actually check, right? So all you do is you type in the port that you want to check. Type in TCP or UDP. It doesn't matter for 3074 because it's used in both TCP and D uh, UDP. And all you do is click check me. Give it a second. And then it's going to say your port is open on this computer. That is a great sign, guys. So as soon as you actually find out that the port is open, you can go ahead. You can close everything, right? And then all you have to do is open up the game. Now, there's two ways to find out if your port has worked and you have an open NAT type in the game. One, you can go to your options, straight from the menu, and you look at the bottom left-hand corner, it'll say NAT type open. Another way, if it doesn't show there, is go to your account. You can look on the bottom right-hand side and it'll say NAT type open. One other way that you can do this, just in case you don't want to go through that issue, where you want to make things just a little bit more simple, if you click on Warzone or Multiplayer, it should say NAT type open right here next to the chat box. Too easy. So guys, I hope this actually helped. I'm going to put a link down for the software down at the bottom in the description just to let you guys know. I'm Swoolly Ghost. I stream on Twitch. I'll also put that link down in the description below. If you like the content and you want to see more, if you have any more issues in the game and you would like some solutions on how to fix these issues, please don't be afraid to comment down below and I'll see if I can actually find a fix for you specific to your issue. Guys, take it easy. Have a great day. I hope you like the content. If you do, please like, subscribe, do whatever you can. Let's make this channel grow. All I want to do is build content and help you guys out so you guys can get out there and play the way that it is supposed to be played. We keep running into issues, but we keep fixing them. Let's keep knocking this shit out. Guys, take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. The fuck?